that's the before picture there's two sides to this carpet there's like um if you want to a better term there's a rough side and a smooth side you can use either but i like the rough side as showing so i'm just going to cut a piece out now put it on the floor of the van spray some glue on it and stick that panel to it that's the basic shape cut out of the carpet I did have to look at it twice to see which was the smooth and which was the rough and I've got the right side so I'll be gluing the smooth side and obviously you need to know which side your um, ply board is going to be on so that's the right, this is the back side so I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint, I'm going to spray the front side stick it on ideally really you need a proper flat surface where there's no wind because this this stuff just goes everywhere so let's give it a go and see what happens ideally you should spray both surfaces but i'm just gonna take the panel outside spray it and lay it on if it works happy days just make sure you know lumps and bumps on the uh, panel that you're spraying and sticking down because they will show up in the carpet but luckily this isn't too bad because it's going to be underneath the bed so it's not really going to be seen other than when you open the back doors that's spread on now and it seems to have stuck okay made a right mess of bins though I think I'll, be, uh, I'll clean that up at some point anyway so now I'm going to spray the carpet and the wood and then fold these over like that, stick them, cut the corners so they're nice and neat. And also, we can put the panel. Oh, I just need to open up these holes a bit, which I'll do from the outside or from the front, I should say. And then, what I tend to do is I put a little screwdriver through these holes so I know where the screw is at to fix it to the, the van. Let's give that a go. You spray the carpet you just put on, spray that bit and fold it over, and make it a nice neat corner, like that. Not too bad. And just go around the rest of it now. You'll have to probably cut a slot down here for, for the curve of the wheel arching. That's it all glued on. With it being four-way stretch carpet, I don't know what the four-way thing is. Oh yeah double-sided you can actually stretch it round joints like I've done across the so that's all what it looks like on the front that's what it looks like on the front it's a bit of a line there but not too bad yeah quite impressed with that all I've got to do now is find the screw holes and if I can't I'll just have to make new ones and then do the holes of the wires and the uh, stuff like that. It's good. Look at that. First bit of carpeting done. Isolator, solar panel controller, fuse box, charging points. Got the holes for the wires for the solar controller. Got the holes for the wires for our lives to the uh, fuse box. Negative from fuse box to body. Wires coming through. Look how neat that is. I'm really impressed with that, you know. It's proper going to like mint when the bed's in. I think I'm going to carpet the wheel arches. I wasn't sure about putting wheel arch boxes in. I wanted to, but I don't think I need to, to be honest. For carpet, it'd be all right. I think I'll still put some flooring on the garage floor. Try and get some laminate or something, just to make it look a bit better, to break it up. But yeah, I think we'll carpet the um, real hatches. Can't stop looking at it, this is. Really pleased. That's what it looks like with the bedding. Or well, the bed frame, I should say. The top bit of the grey carpeting will be covered by the mattress anyway. So I don't have to do anything with that. But yeah, to check uh, where the soil is up to, just need to open the door and look at that. Uh, Display there. Turn the isolator on and off. 
extra power sockets, fuse box. Overall, I think it's really tidy and neat. Neat and tidy. Once the wheel arch is uh, carpeted, I'll just finish that corner off. I do have to keep taking the bed out and the half keep taking the panel off because I still need to do the wiring from the solar panels when they go on. Proper impressed with it though. Looks like a professional's done it. Really impressed. <laughs> Can't stop looking at it, it just looks ace. Proper happy with that. I'm going to have a full day of carpeting, I think. Get it all done. I can't carpet the bathroom panel yet. Um, because I still need to do some struts inside, some battens. To strengthen it up. Once they're done, because they're going to be screwed from this side, I can get that carpeted. Everything's coming along nicely. Yeah. Happy days. Next job, I think, is a bit of a tidy up and then look at the um, bench seating and where the batteries are. I need to tidy that lot up and then, yeah, put some bench seating. I've got lots of battens, all there, so I can start to build a frame because I don't need to rip anything out. And that'll just be a case of. Um, Uh, clad it which I did in our kitchen so I'll just show you a bit like this storage all built with battens and uh, cladding 9mm uh, ply um, lids just like a little old shape bench seat and dead straight forward and a bit of a tidy up now, so I'm just going to go and measure um, how high the seating is in the kitchen and how far it comes out. It's 16 inches high and comes out 17 inches. Then batteries are 14 inches long, so I can turn them round and put them side by side like this. I have the batteries like that, put an inverter there. And then I've got room for a toilet here. So, if I start to frame it out now, there's a piece of plywood to go across there so I know where my edge is. There will be a piece of plywood across the back eventually, but I'm not doing that until um, I've got the wiring in place and the split charger and the solar panels which will run across the back there. So I need to get a toilet from Betty one. But I did think about putting the toilet in the shower cubicle. So at least we've got a door then. Bit of privacy in the outside world. We don't have to have the sliding door shut then. Mm. It's another lemon dilemma. Essential van life, van build uh, equipment there. Crocs and socks. Can't beat them. The toilet can't really go there, it's got to go in the shower cubicle. That's the whole idea. Just means each time I have a shower, I'll pull it out. Unless we can show around it. Hmm. Right, I'm going to build the seat in without the toilet in mind and the toilet's going to go in the shower. Yeah, it's got to go in the shower. Just have to make something to brace it when we're travelling. Yeah, that's where it's going. Right, definitely. Because the shower might not get used that often. Because if we're on sites, we can use shower sites, uh, the shower, site shower, 
um, but the toilet will always be used and there's no air in it going in there yep decision made it's going in the shower cubicle maybe in hindsight building a shower cubicle isn't the best idea but it doubles up the storage a wardrobe and a toilet so yeah i'm glad i did it not lost much room and now we're not putting it there i can build the bench seating around the batteries so i might as well start the framework just put some uh, ply at the back because as i said before that's going to have a sheet of ply in it and now i'm going to start the battening but it's just started raining it's going to have shut all doors i was also thinking about bringing the seating round to where the edge of the driver's seat is like a little L shape so if someone wants to chill got the back to the shower thing feet up yeah let's do that just started building the base of the bench seats and decided that this bit is going to be storage this bit is for batteries and an inverter which is either going to go there or on that back wall there so there's going to be one two three four five six uprights and then pieces joining them let's crack on band building is not an exact science i've said this before i've measured all of these uprights and they're all the same height but for some reason the back one dipped down so i've got to move that a bit longer because i'm now going with the lines of the van so that gap between that rib and that back piece should be five and a half all the way along and it's not so i've had to cut another upright a quarter of an inch higher to make sure it's level and then what i'll do is i'll look at the front one and see how that needs altering oh, it's all sent to test us that's the basic frame done Obviously these two pieces of ply will be coming out and then one full piece will be putting in. But it's all in line, it's all square. And it looks okay. It's a bit of a bastard to do but it's done now. So what will help strengthen it up is when the um, <coughs> ply board piece is in the back and that's going to be screwed to the uh, ribs the ribs of the uh, van so once that's screwed to the, the van I can put a couple of screws in that back piece to make sure it's secure and then the actual strength of it will come from the cladding it's gonna be up, upright so I might I've got some left so I might stick a couple of pieces on just for to uh, see what it looks like that's what it's gonna look like the finished article cladding all along there I'll put some ply on that on the back piece. But yeah, quite impressed with that. Now it's worked out. It's all going to come apart, of course, <laughs> because I've got to go do the wiring. But what I'll do on the next episode is I'll fix the batteries in proper with some battens. I'll get some more cladding and finish that front off. And that's it. Done. Well, I'm not saying it's done. There's like loads more to do. So I've got to get a window for there yet. And then carpet all the around the window. It should look a lot better. But she's coming on. She's looking far better than she did uh, earlier on. Proper impressed with my joinery skills at the minute. Even though fan building is not an exact science. Right, that's it for this episode of Better to Build. Thanks very very much for watching. We've got some carpeting done, we've got some more bits screwed onto that uh, ply panel. We've got the bench sheet started, bench sheet, bench seat started. Thanks very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment down below, tell us what you think. But overall, keep doing what you do.